here today with my favorite, favorite raw food chef, Rashid, and he's going to help me make some delicious raw food that's going to prepare us for fall. So what are you going to make here today? Okay, we're going to call this an avocado curry love raw soup. I like it. And basically we're going to put this together and make sure it's warm enough so it can keep you warm inside and elevated. Okay. And the ginger is going to help us stay warm, right? Oh, yeah, definitely the ginger is going to kick in its fire and along with the Vitamix fire. So oh, yeah. we're going to work it out. Okay. All right. So show me what I'm should do. Okay. So I'm going to put in two cups of water into mm. the Vitamix. Okay. It's a big knife. I'm going to cut half of the avocado. Okay. All right, put that in there. Can I use this? Yes. Okay, let's put four. Do I need to chop these or is this thing powerful enough? It will take care of everything. Okay, beautiful. Four dried tomatoes. Four sun dried tomatoes. Okay. And you're just going to do a nice slice of ginger. Do I leave the skin on? Yes. Beautiful. All that good life is hiding in the skin. Yeah, all the young and good cheese in the skin. That's right. Okay. One little hand bunch of kale. Okay. Okay. I saw some cilantro in there. Yeah, that's Is that for it. garnish? Mm hmm Okay. So then we're going to go... A touch of agave? A tablespoon of agave. I've never seen agave this light. It's like well, really light. From what I'm told that this particular agave is supposed to be the clear, natural agave with no type of fructose in it whatsoever. Nice. Um, so we're using that. I don't know if I'm completely right. But, <laughs> Where did that come from? It, ca it came from Ultimate Raw is where we get that agave from. So. Well, I'm glad to know that SunPower is using the highest quality agave they can. Indeed. Thank you. So we have sea salt here. Mm -hmm. So, you know, put, um, let's go for and three of those. Three. Okay. Well, let's stay with two. Yeah, let's start with two. We can let's always add more, more, but it's hard to take it away. <laughs> now, what you love here... Nutritional yeast. Let's go with two of those. Okay. I like it cheesy. <laughs> this is going to be so amazing. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put this in that particular Vitamix over there. Okay. We're going to speed dial it up to 12 and let it go for two minutes and 20 seconds which will have it just a bit warm, warm okay and not too hot awesome all right let's go let's do it See the steam coming off that? That's delicious looking. Cilantro. You can also slice up the dried tomato. Okay. And then some slices of avocado, like a little chopped avocado. This knife is too big for this, but whatever. Can I get you some shallow? I'm going to put in some, a little bit of dry coconut. Oh, nice. Whoops. Yeah. I messed it up. And I'm going to find a little spot to put a little bit of pe paprika. Okay. Right and then right there. Presentation is everything. Symmetry. And then this is a sweet sauce. I'm just going to I'm so excited I'm gonna try this soup that I made with the help of Chef Rashid. 
Nice. Very kale tasting, mm -hmm. but I like it. Can you taste the nutritional yeast too? It needs more nutritional yeast. More nutritional yeast. That's so Because we'll I, that, you can never have too much nutritional yeast. That's right. We'll make that part of our sprinkles. But the ginger is really nice. Oh, that's beautiful. I stepped out from behind the camera to try some of the soup as well. And I also love nutritional yeast. Mmm. Mm. I don't taste like the kale isn't too st stand out for me, but I taste the ginger is the biggest flavor that I taste. But that's great. It's nice and smooth. Yes. Just the right temperature. 